amazing Philippines. The Philippine archipelago comprises 7,107 islands. It is bounded in the north by the Bashi Channel, in the east by the Pacific Ocean, in the south by the Celebes Sea, in the west by the South China Sea, or currently known as the West Philippine Sea. You find an incredible variety of fish in a clear water of Borobor. And did you know that some species of mud crab found right here in our country? Where exactly? That's our new adventure is going to find out. Let's go! Skyla species inhabit brackish water in marine environment. There are four species of mud crabs. Skyla cirrata, giant or king mud crab, Skyla tranquibarica, purple mud crab, Skyla olivacea, orange mud crab, Skyla paramamusain, green mud crab. How to culture a mud crab? First, Select a best site selection. The following are the characteristics of a suitable site. Clay, clay loam or sandy clay soil to retain water. Second, adequate source of rockish water. Third, free from possible source of pollution. Fourth, protected from typhoon, flood, and siltation. Fifth, accessible but free from poachers. Sixth, flat land one meter above the sea level of the highest tide to allow drainage and harvest. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa isang magcraft farm sa Maguindanao. At nakikita po natin ang limang tayang lawak ng magcraft farm. Nandito po ang isang manager, si Lina Campo Redondo. Madam? Madam? And here is Ms. Lina Campo Redondo, our operation manager in Madcap Operation. Ma'am, what is the first thing to do in order to do a pump preparation? First, drain the pump completely and sun dry at least for a week. What is the second thing to do in pump preparation? According to Lina, the second step is make all dikes watertight and sail gates with soil. Third, install screens to prevent entry of undesirable animals. Fourth, level pond bottom to maximize area and allow better water management and harvest. Apply a small amount of lime mixed with top soil and low pan. Six, dry for a minimum of two weeks. Seven, flat pan up to 30 cm and hold the water for one to two days. Eight, drain pan completely and repeat the drying process. Ninth, apply the following to eradicate predators and other unwanted species. 10. Apply 1 to 2 tons calcium carbonate per hectare or 200 to 300 kg calcium oxide per hectare on pond bottom and dikes. 11. Apply fertilizer at 1 to 2 tons manure per hectare plus 25 kg urea per hectare and 50 kg ammonium phosphate. Lastly, admit water into the pond. Crabs Nursery Crabs measuring 0.6 to 1.0 cm are cultured to 1.5 to 2.0 in net cages installed in a pond. The culture period is 3 to 4 weeks in each phase depending on the desired size at harvest. In nursery phase, the mud crab can be cultured in neat cages or in sides lined with net. In packing and transport of crablets, transport with water. Before packing, 
Acclimate crablets to 23 to 24 degrees Celsius. Use double plastic bags measuring about 52 point in 77 centimeter. Put net or straw shelters inside the bags. Saturate the inner bag with oxygen and tie the two bags separately with rubber bands. Put the plastic bags in styrofoam, especially if by plane or box. Maintain the temperature by placing wrapped ice on top of the plastic bag. This is the crab size and loading densities for transport. The grow out phase. The stocking density of crabs for grow out normally does not exceed 1,000 individual per hectare to reduce cannibalism. Remember that mud crabs are carnivorous, while milkfish, ciganid, and tilapia are herbivores and omnivores. The polyculture grow out of mud crab and milkfish. The most common combination for polyculture ah, is crabs and milkfish. The stocking, admit water in the pond 5 to 10 cm deep from the incoming tide and through the use of motor pump after pond preparation. Increase water gradually of 5 to 10 cm water level daily until water level of 40 to 60 cm is attained. Stock milkfish post fingerlings at 1,500 to 3,000 individual per hectare after acclimation. Stock uniform size crablets 2 to 3 cm sourced either from the hatchery or wild at 800 to 1,000 individual per hectare. In feeding, feed crablets daily with a mean slow value fish mollusks such as snails, small bivalves, and boiled chicken entrails. Place chicken manure inside perforated bags set at equal distances within the pond to maintain grow out of lab lab and other filamentous plants. Give milk bees commercially available formulated diet when lab lab is overgrazed. Follow the feeding rate in the table, put feeds in feeding trays, 6 units per hectare around the pan to monitor food consumption. Broadcast the rest of the feeds. The following factors affect food consumption of mud crab. First, deterioration of water quality. Second, poor pan bottom condition. Third, mold stage. Fourth, temperature, fifth, disease, and sixth, food type. The water management. Pond water deteriorates as culture progresses due to accumulated phases, uneaten feeds, and other waste. Hence, it is important to maintain good water quality favorable to animals. First, maintain water depth at at least 18. Monitor water parameter regularly. Second, change about 30% of water every springtime. Third, apply fertilizer 1620-0 at 25 kg per hectare and 4600 at 12.5 kg per hectare after water change to maintain growth of natural food. Monitoring in sampling. The condition of the animals in pond water should be noted daily so that remedial measures can be undertaken immediately if there are problems. First, sample animals at the 30th day and 15th day thereafter. Second, use lift net nets to sample crabs and same nets to sample milk fish. Third, weigh the animals to monitor the growth and to adjust feeding rate.
to record keeping. The data on application of inputs such as lime, fertilizer, pesticides, and of feeds, water condition, and other relevant observations should be recorded. This information are needed to evaluate the efficiency of farm management during the past and present runs. Harvest How to harvest a mud crop? There are two types of harvesting, the selective harvest and total harvest. In selective harvest, first, install the several left nets with balls. Install several nets with baits early in the morning prior to feeding. Second, collect crabs using scope net when water enters the pan during water management. Third, select only fat marketable size crabs. In total harvest, first, harvest crabs and milkfish by current method. Second, drain the water completely low tide. Induce the fish to concentrate the supply, canal, or catching area. Third, collect fish using sand net or scope net. Rinse and soak the fish tank with ice or ice water. Fourth, collect crabs in pan by hand keeping. Put crabs in a clean pan, water to remove pan. Fifth, tie crabs and hold in cold and moist place. Six, sort according to size and sex. The culture of crops with more than one commodity. Crops are stocked at 500 to 1,000 individual per hectare, plus milkfish, chanus chanus, at 1,000 to 3,000 individual per hectare, plus black tiger frog, or pineos monodon, at 20,000 to 50,000 individual per hectare, plus tilapia, at 500 to 1,500 individual per hectare. And this tilapia is optional. The fattening of mud crab. Marketable size but lean crabs are either required or command a low price in either local or export market. Lean crabs are further cultured and fattened from 15 to 45 days. Crabs are fed with low value fish, snails, chicken, entrails, and boiled corn, kernel, at satiation 1 to 2 times daily using the various setups as follows. Earthen pans and pen and mangroves. And now we are here in the conference of Bad Grab. Papasokin po natin kung conversation nila dun sa loob. Tayo ngayon para sa ating meeting sa consultation natin regarding the farm. Um... General man ay operation manager Miss Annabel. Kumusta na yun sa ano natin? Sa band natin. Um, so far okay naman sila. Malaki yung ano species na pinuputol doon. Okay sa ating customer, ang general manager ng uh, ang ating number one na customer si Miss, uh, Mr. J.R. Celeste. Kumusta na ngayon ang planta mo? Uh, so far, mula nung nagkuha ko ng plan sa farm ng crab, crab pets, um, sabi kong okay nga yung tango ng farm ko kasi mas naglago siya ngayon kaya sa atin. Mas maraming analysis kasi yung nakuha ko during seminars kaya mas naparago ko siya. Okay, that's our uh, ends our meeting. Uh, natapos na ang ating meeting. I hope so na lahat ng nalalaman natin ngayong araw na ito is i-upload na natin sa ating farm. And we hope na yung next, next na farm natin is mas maganda pa yung production natin.